Hey y'all, today we are doing this tutorial. It's really just classic Christmas holiday red lip. It's just your classic red lip tutorial. We do the whole face and I just wanted something almost traditional and something a little different for me. I never wear red lip, so this was pretty interesting for me. So if you guys want to see how to get this super quick but statement look, then I hope you subscribe, click that bell, and let's hop in. So I'm going to start out with primer. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer in Radiance with Hyaluronic Acid. Just going to put a bit of this on my hand, rub it together. I just want a little bit of a glowier base. I'm just going to rub this all around the face. I like this primer. I don't love it, but it will do. I'm almost out of my VDL primer, so trying to savor it. You can see this leaves a beautiful glow. If you're going like more natural or if you don't even have anything on the skin, this looks beautiful by itself. I'm going to throw on a little bit of the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer just on my porous areas. We want to look as smooth and as flawless as possible. For foundation, I'm actually mixing two. I have the VDL and the Pacifica. I don't know, I've never mixed these two, so I wanted to see how it would go. Could be a mistake, I don't know. I've had some that do not mix well together but we're gonna try it and we are just gonna smear this all along the face my dog is barking and i don't know why oh uh, i swear it's like that's all he does is bark i have a huge zit right in the middle of my forehead that's always fun okay so i'm gonna start pushing this into the skin with a dry Real Technique sponge. Hopefully this gives me the coverage that I want, but is also very light. We are going to try to build this up a little bit. I think it looks good, but the, the nose does not look so good. So we will see if we can kind of smooth that out a bit. I'm hoping so. And my nose can be so weird with foundations so that's not a big surprise to me and even though both of these foundations work so beautifully by themselves sometimes when you mix them they don't work out too well that's why a lot of the time i don't mix foundations too much because sometimes it can go really really bad so if i know i need to be somewhere or I'm in a hurry, I don't mix foundations. And I know some people, they mix them all the time and they never have issues. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> yeah, the nose definitely looks better now. I think I just had to build it up a bit. For concealer, I'm actually gonna go in with Shape Tape. This is in Light Medium Honey. I have not had this out in a long time, so. We're gonna give it a go. Not gonna put too much. I'm gonna start small. This is starting to smell a little bit funny. It might be going bad, so I've had it for quite some time. I'm gonna start pushing that into the skin with the same sponge. Yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna have to build it up where I am using the sponge. It's taken quite a bit of the product away. I also forgot to put any on my eyelids. Now I'm kind of worried to use this where it's gotten kind of smelly, so I'm gonna grab a different concealer. <laughs> All right, this is the Maybelline Superstay. Uh oh, this might be too dark. Let me throw some on the lids. Oh yeah, what, that what? Oh, okay, that was my summer shade. This is way too dark. I definitely need more concealers in my lighter shade. This is the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I'm gonna try some of this. Oh yeah, I think this will work. And I don't know, I really just wanted to do a makeup tutorial. 
and one just like for the holidays where it's just classic and timeless and I never do a red lip <clears throat> so I wanted to do something different hopefully it works out I have several red lipsticks but I literally don't ever wear them uh, my mom passed away gosh almost 11 years ago and uh she always wore a red lip. She wore nothing but red lipstick. So that may be why I stay away from red. But today, we are doing it. So this may be a practice run for my Christmas look. I'm totally doing it. We are stepping right outside of that comfort zone, guys. Okay, so this is what the base is looking like. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to set the whole face. It is still far too tacky. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some Urban Decay Velvetizer and we are gonna set right underneath the eyes and this helps fill in those really big pores that I have right there. This was in my underrated products video and I'm telling you guys, there's nothing like this powder. It makes your skin look so smooth and poreless. I just, I love it. So especially for special occasions or events, Christmas parties, this is a necessity in my opinion. I'm gonna let the foundation set a little bit more on its own before I go in with powder. Sometimes if you go in with powder on a wet base, it will kind of remove. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna leave this be for a few minutes, let it dry, and then we will come back and set everything. So the road department has been outside. Um, they were working across the street and you could hear their stupid beeping from their equipment, this and that. So I went ahead and I set the face. I just used Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil. Love that. And I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. Bronzer. Awful name, awful. This is the most beautiful bronzer in my opinion. It is very red toned and I have a lot of red in my skin tone. So it looks very natural on me. I really love it. I wish it was completely matte. This has some shimmer to it. That's why I really tap my brush off and hope that most of it comes off. But this is my favorite bronzer. This is one of the few products that I have actually hit pan on. So, pretty proud of that because I have so much makeup, I hit pan on nothing. So, you can tell that I absolutely love this bronzer. Like for Christmas or Christmas Eve, Christmas party, if I was going to have a lower cut shirt on or dress, I would definitely bring this down on my chest just to make sure everything looks the same. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with an oldie but a goodie. This is the Pixie Glowy Powder in Santorini Sunset. This is potent. So I'm gonna try to go in with a light hand because this is a blinding highlight but where we're kind of doing everything more understated. I'm not really gonna do anything to the eyes and we just have that red lip. I want this to be a little more prominent than normal, but not completely over the top. This can be completely over the top. Like this is one of the most beaming highlights Ever. And for blush, I'm gonna go in with MAC, and this is Raisin. This is a matte blush, and like I said, we're kind of doing everything a little bit more understated, except for lips, highlighter, you know. So I'm gonna stick that on the cheeks, but I'm gonna keep it a bit further back. I don't, well, right now, I'm not super into the super, blushy look where it's all on the apples. I think it makes my face look even rounder than it is. So 
I tend to keep mine back a bit further. And that's all just personal preference. It's how you like your face shape to look. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw a little bit of a brown in the crease. Let me find a brown. That shouldn't be hard, right? Okay, the first palette that I grabbed was the City Mini palette. This one's in High Rise Sunset. And I'm just gonna use a wee bit of this brown right here. It's kind of an orangey brown, but I think it will work really well for what we're going for. If not, then I'll grab a different one. But we're gonna try it. So I'm just gonna stick this in our crease and then connect it a little bit to the outer corner of the eye. Nothing too defined, just kind of really blown out. So just a little bit of a brown in the crease and a wing and I think it just kind of pulls everything together. While I still have this out, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the highlighter and put it on the inner corner. And I swear, do you guys see what an impact that can make? Ah, inner corner highlights, so good. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera, do my brows because I cannot do that on camera. I really suck at it. And then I'm going to throw a wing on and then we will be back for the lip. I added a little bit of a more neutral brown. It was a bit too orangey. It's still more orangey than I would prefer in the crease. I would really go for a more neutral brown with the red lip, but it's fine, it's fine. So I'm gonna go in with Smashbox. This is Bossy, B-A-W-S-E. And this is a matte, but for a red, I tend to prefer matte. I don't want it to move around at all. So I'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna add a little bit more extra. And if you want to use a lip liner, that's totally up to you. I don't ever use a lip liner pretty much. So we're gonna see how this goes. My lips are so chapped, it is crazy. Okay, bottom went good. Let's see how the top goes. The top is so much harder for me. Sorry, I have an itch inside of my ear hole. All right, let's try the top now. Oh, this makes my anxiety so bad. <laughs> okay, all right, I didn't really overline. Um, I kind of got it done and I was like, nope, not doing it. So if you want to do that, absolutely do that. If you want to leave this matte, you are good to go. But I want to add a bit of gloss. It's kind of like if we're going red, let's go red. But I love a matte red lip, I do. This is also from Smashbox. I do not know the name of this. I will try to find it and list it down below. But this, you guys, watch the shiz. It is like the most metallic, beautiful red. I'm just gonna put that right on the center and then use my finger and kind of push it around. So it's like, wow, you're going for it. So this is our finished look. Oh, I love it. So it's just a really classic bombshell holiday Christmas look and I love it. I just think this is what I think of with a Christmas look. Unless you're kind of going all out on the eyes, that, that's the whole thing. With this look, literally sometimes I do nothing with my eyes. I'll put a little boop on the inner corner and that's it. The statement is in the lips. You don't wanna go too hard on the eyes, which you can. I mean, if you wanna do a black smoky eye, beautiful. But this does not take long and I think it just looks stunning. I love it. It's just very classic, easy statement. That's all I think of with a look like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, I hope you subscribe and click that bell and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.